As medical experts continue learning more about Omicron, the Minnesota Department of Health is giving us a look into their variant surveillance program. It tracks how COVID spreads and changes. Fox 9's Hannah Flood explains how this tracking works and why it's necessary. Hannah. Hey, Amy and Kelsey. Yeah, this monitoring program, it actually existed long before COVID-19. Public health officials could watch how viruses like the flu or foodborne illnesses were mutating or spreading. But now with COVID, that program has expanded and it's giving epidemiologists more information on where COVID's coming from and how it's changing. This is a look inside the laboratory where the Minnesota Department of Health is testing COVID-19 samples, looking for changes or mutations in the virus. Our lab started sequencing SARS-CoV-2 right after we got our first case, so in March 2020. We've been sequencing since then. Epidemiologists from MDH explained the lab takes a percentage of COVID positive test samples gathered at testing sites and tests those samples to learn how the virus is changing and spreading. Even a small change can impact how the virus behaves. Those small genetic changes can make a strain of the virus more severe or more contagious. Each time a new variant seems to emerge, the variant is more transmissible or more infectious from person to person than the previous variant. On a small scale, epidemiologists can use this monitoring program to identify how very specific strains with unique mutations move through places like nursing homes or examine samples from people who are hospitalized to see if there could be a molecular reason symptoms are so severe for that person. We can look at those individual sequences themselves and learn learn a little bit more about, about what this means. On a large scale, working with national and global public health agencies, they can monitor the spread of variants like Delta and Omicron. You know, we are looking for things like, are there different rates of vaccine breakthrough? Now the variant monitoring program will continue on for the foreseeable future, just like their flu monitoring program. One thing the epidemiologist told me today is at this point, they're finding no matter the variant right now, people who are landing in the hospital with COVID are largely unvaccinated. Back to you.